Hi everybody, G here. Quick video today to show you how to transfer or how we're going to transfer frames from this little nuke, which is a little five frame bee colony, to one of these. So uh, I have more videos coming up uh, shortly that I need to finish to edit. I know it takes me a long time uh, to show how I made uh, splits from uh, some beehives. And as a result of those splits, I ended up with um, a number of new bee colonies. Some of them had queens, some of them did not have queens. Uh, but I ended up with two of these little nukes like this, which is a five frame uh, mini colony. And they did not have queen, but I gave them some queen cells. So over time, no, that was about three weeks ago. Um, one of them had a queen hatch, this one here, the, the brown one. Uh, so now there's a queen in there that's laying some eggs. So that colony is starting. Uh, this one there uh, should have a queen now that is hatched. So that's what we're going to look for to confirm if there's a queen in there. And we're going to move them into a normal 10 box uh, length strut B box. And uh, I'm very curious. I, I suspect that there's a lot of bees in there because I see a lot of bee traffic. So they might start to get tight. And uh, the, if you don't manage the bee space properly, then it's possible that this little nuke could try to make queen cells and, and swarm. You know, so we don't, you want to avoid that. So the video today is all about this tiny nuke. I'll show you what I'm looking for. And by the end of this video, we should have them into a normal 10 frame box. So this is how this little nucleus of bees look like right now. Lots of traffic in and out. And a lot of bees coming in with a good amount of pollen. Uh, as a reminder, so this little nucleus, which has five frames, comes from the colony with the blue top over there. And uh, in an upcoming video, I'm going to show you how I did these splits. So, as a result of that split, what I ended up with was um, this one. And which uh, there's a, I posted a video recently about catching a swarm in that one. So that was a failed split because my queen, um, it, it did, the, the queen cells did not work. So that, that hive ended up being queenless. The process did not work. And I ended up with two little nukes like this one. And that was one of them. Uh, this one I uh, rapidly dealt with last weekend. I, I opened it up. I saw a queen. I saw eggs which means that the queen actually got out and was, uh, was uh, uh, no, mated uh, successfully and came back. So now we moved them from, moved the five frames into a normal box and added some other frames to it. So this is what we're gonna do with this one. Uh, I didn't have a chance to do it last weekend because of the weather, but now we're gonna do it today. So let's have a look. All right, let's have a look. Decent number of bees in there. They are definitely running out of space. That's for sure. You can see there's bees all the way there. And even not as much here. This is a frame that had nothing on it. It's the first one I'm going to remove and we'll have a look. But very, very tight. Very, very tight. This is too tight. Too many bees so it's yes we need to do something and give them more space by moving them into a proper box okay so what i have done now which i should have done before is get the site ready so this is the box it's gonna become their new box with a new base uh, i will be changing that base at some point but this is what uh, we i'm gonna be using now i need to build a proper one but, uh, and then I moved the uh, new there. Because what we're gonna do is remove the frames and move them in there. Uh, what I have, because I have five frames in this box, I need five in this box. And what I'm giving them is this. So this is empty frames with pure beeswax. Uh, so this is pure beeswax embossed with a honeycomb shape. 
it's very important when you move bees to put the box at the exact same spot because as you can tell already even though I moved the colony there all the bees that are coming back are already checking out this new location and now they're a bit confused about what's going on right because they probably can't smell their queen right even though the colony is right there about not even three feet away uh, the bees are that are returning or are coming to this location the bees are funny like that they really know exactly it's like a gps location you know where the colony is so now i don't want to wait too long it's going to be lots of bee traffic and bees wondering what's going on at the front so we're just going to move these frames and have a look for the queen so i pulled the first frame from the left which was a empty frame this one is a plastic foundation so the the, the black is plastic with a coating of beeswax. And as you can see now, the bees have been working at raising the honeycomb, you know, making their own, creating their own cells. And uh, some of them, like these ones there, you can see it's all shiny. Uh, they're starting to fill with nectar, nectar already, even though it's not fully drawn yet. So, uh, it takes up a lot of energies for bees to make to make beeswax. Uh, if I had more frames from last year that were already all fully drawn, I would give that to them instead. But I've already used some of them for my other colonies. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply move this frame into the new box. Just like that. I temporarily move the top on there. It's not gonna stay there, but it, maybe it might help the bees to kind of recognize that this is where their colony used to be. I don't know. So now we're gonna continue. So you can see lots of bees. Lots of bees in this box. So let's try to see if we can find our queen. If there's no queen then we have a different situation to deal with but let's have a look i'm gonna pause and then we'll show you the next frame so a lot of bees so the good news is that this is a successful split because I can see eggs. So this is a typical, uh, how a typical brood frame would look like. So everything around it, so from the bottom left corner, all the way up to where my thumb is, we can see the yellow wax cappings and the very top and then coming back on the other side. And here there's pollen, all this yellow stuff is pollen. It's a bit of nectar in there, but in the middle is eggs. And uh, we can't really see it much um, on the camera. A little bit. Yes. You can see the little grain of rice at the end, bottom of these frames. These are eggs. So it means there's a queen in there. She's not on that frame. I had a look. Uh, there you go. I've put it in there. All right, so now that we've moved the second frame, we're gonna move the other one. Uh, by the way, when you buy new bees, if you start as a beekeeper and you buy a, a nuke of bees, this is kind of what you're buying. Uh, it will be usually be four frames, not five. Depends on your supplier. But this is what you get. You get the, a small beehive with a queen that's laying that you bring home and move into a box. And I do have a video on my YouTube channel from last year uh, when I went to pick up uh, newbies and install them. So if you're interested to know how that worked, uh, just check my channel uh, and you, you should be able to find that, that video, installing newbies. So let's have a look at this frame now and see if we can find our queen. I can see again, um, this is the same. I can see uh, capped honey on the side 
and lots of open cells in the middle so i suspect we'll see more eggs and hopefully we can see a queen i'd like to have a look at her as you can see the bees are not minding me too much you know like the these little nukes are usually they're good you know they're they're not coming at you they're not angry i mean they can be but you no know, beekeeping is like yoga you know as long as you you do calculated moves and you take your time. Usually, bees will be docile like this, you know. Uh, what will be int will be interesting in this frame as well, so you can see this little X. So this was the frame when it came from the blue hive there that had a queen cells on it. So the queen would have emerged from a queen cell that was on on this frame. So it's possible that the, the old queen cell might still be on it. This is what this frame looks like. Uh, no sign of these old uh, queen cells. They were at the bottom there. They're not there anymore. Uh, this is a very good brood frame. And this is pretty much all eggs and larvae. And if I go on it, you'll see this little white looking worms in there this is what a bee larvae looks like um, and on the side there there's eggs as well you can see them yeah you can see them very well there no sign of a queen on this frame but it's pretty full so i suspect she'll be in the other one but the fact that i'm seeing brood like that and it's all white nice and shiny uh, a very healthy brood but on both sides, it looks the same. So that's a lot of bees. This one looks just like the other one. It looks like it's almost fully uh, like brood, which is awesome. So let's do it. And I think what I'm going to do is move this over here. Try to give them some shelter. It's getting windy and cloudy, so that's really not the best weather to do this. Careful, little ladies. I'm stuck to my tool. All right. I'm gonna carefully separate the other one. All right, let's have a look. I can see a queen cup already at the bottom there. I'm gonna take that frame out. This last frame is full of eggs. No queen, but we have eggs. Uh, there was a few uh, empty queen cups, which is normal, which I, and I removed them. Lots of drones, lots of nectar on this frame as well, but not as many bees. So I'm gonna move it into this box. So, to be careful, moving this last, this last frame. It was stuck a little bit to this, uh, this side of the, the box. Okay, I'm gonna pull it out. Right, so this is uh, actually definitely a food frame. There's no eggs or larvae on this. It's normal for the frames that are already in the extremities to uh, be used for food. This is all honey. And uh, on the other side, a lot of honey and some pollen. It's all pollen. So this just means that I missed uh, seeing my queen. She could be uh, a runner, you know? So it doesn't matter. You don't need to see your queen. All you need to see is eggs. Because if you have eggs, you knew your queen was there a day or two ago. So we're gonna move this frame. Uh, I might still go and uh, try to salvage another honey frame from somewhere to give them as well. Okay, unfortunately I don't have any <laughs> honey frames left, so. 
we'll have to uh, let them be. It might, it will take them a bit more effort to uh, build more comb. So what I'm gonna do, so this was our honey frame. I'm gonna put an empty frame in between. This, these frames that we had a lot of brood. Um, actually, I'm gonna. You know, and uh, they will force the bees to try to draw a bit more comb from it as they have started to do on this one. Do it like this. There we go. Try not to squish any bees. When you go slow, they'll move out of the way. Then move this right there. go move these empty frames and the other one just like that there you go uh, I'm gonna put the cover on I'm putting the entrance facing up because I at this point they don't I don't feel I don't want to give them a top entrance uh, directly into the colony because no, there, now there's a lot of space for them to guard uh, and expand into, but uh, they can use just the bottom entrance. When I add more brood boxes and I'll flip this over, they can get an entrance directly into the colony. Um, the roof that I'm using is a migratory roof. This type, which will block this uh, top entrance for them. and I have a plastic cap that I need to put on there and that's it this is how you move a nuke this is how it looks from the front uh, now I'm gonna put a entrance reducer I hope this one fits yes and uh, the purpose of the entrance reducer simply to uh, make it easier for the bees to defend their colony you know so so technically now they can there's a spot to go in there and over there and uh, they don't have a, a huge wide opening to defend these guys are very strong they are able to do it not a problem this one not so much this other new that I moved last time, same thing, I put the entrance reducer. I'll remove it at some point when I feel that uh, they're strong enough. Okay, so time to uh, get some plugs. If there were some bees left in the box, I would leave it on top, open, uh, and then the bees would naturally go back into it, but uh, there isn't, no, there's maybe a couple of bees in there. And all they're doing is licking uh, the honey that spilled while I was moving the frames so I'm gonna go get these plastic caps so we can put it on there and actually this one uh, needs one as well and then that's gonna be it all right so these are the white covers that go on there this is what you use um, when you buy like a tube mailer like a cardboard tube to mail documents and roll them this is what goes at each end so when I build my roofs I made it so that the top fits that so there we go, I hope you learned something today. Very easy uh, task. It took about, uh, took me about 90 minutes because I was you no know, filming at the same time. Uh, but um, I'm quite happy what I'm seeing. Already you can see that the bees are uh, going into their new home. So that's it, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate to uh, click a like. And if you want to keep up with my beekeeping adventures, you can subscribe. And that way you'll get an alert every time I post a new video. Thank you, everybody. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll be happy to help you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.